Hi friends, this is Ashish Kumar from Mindful Solutions India. In this tutorial, we will be looking into how to make a static progress bar. So first of all, uh, let's get the basic idea of this progress bar. So we will be having two dips, outer dip and the inner dip. So the outer dip will basically denote the whole number of tags to be done. And the inner dip will denote the current completion of a tax. So let's say you have a 100 number of tags to be completed and you have completed up to 40, 40 number of tags. So the outer div will denote the 100 number of tags and the inner div will denote the 40 number of tags that has been completed. So now let's see the design of part of the progress bar. So you can see uh, there are two dips. One is the progress bar div and another inside it the progress bar indicator. So now let's uh, design the CSS of the progress bar. So we can see first of all we can we have to declare the width to 100% next to declare the height to let's say 16 px. Now need to declare the background let's say the background to something gray color and let's say okay so uh, now let's see the output how it looks so here I am using the phone gear framework to deploy the application to the iOS simulator so if you can see this denotes the whole number of taxes to be done so now let's design the progress bar indicator so declare to 40 percent let's say uh, I am declaring the width 40 percent because out of 100 we have completed up to 40 number of tags. So let's say if I completed up to 60 number of tags, you need to declare this as 60 percent. So now height to let's say 16 peaks. Now the background, background to some green uh, green type of color. So now it's a green color let's check the output okay now if you can see that uh, the green uh, deep denotes the 40 percent uh, tax has been completed so this is the basic idea of the progress bar so now our next step is to design the progress bar a little more so that it will look a okay, good and nice one now needs to add some more css to it so now adding the css so i have added the border radius to 8 px and also uh, designed the box header to a some inset color so now let's check check it uh, let me save it first okay now if you can see this is looking quite well now let's also design the indicator first of all i need to add the overflow property so let's the overflow to hidden next i need to add the border radius and the shadow property so as you can see i have added the border to 1 px so need to decrease the height to 14 px now let's check the output okay you can see now it's looking quite well so our next step is to add some strips or make the indicator look a better way so now let's add some new design to it as i have already added the background color to the progress bar indicator so next i need to add the background making it after so let's say first of all the progress bar indicator okay then colon after so i will make this design first of all the content blank next the width to 100 percent and height will be 16px 
now make the display property to block okay now i need to declare the overflow property overflow to hidden now need to add the background so here you can see this is one image that is little bit transparent in color and uh, it's tilted uh, let's say bar that uh, will add uh, repeating itself on the progress indicator so now let's see the output how it looks you can see that uh, here the bar added to the indicator makes it more uh, means uh, good looking and attractive so <coughs> our next step is to add a uh, label denoting how much of tax has been completed so for this we need to change some html design we need to add here the d class let's say it's a label progress per level okay now need to add the styling to this okay so first of all we need to declare the width to 100 percent now the height height will be the same as 16 px now need to declare the font size so the font size will be let's say i am declaring the 14 px now the color so the color will be let's say i am declaring to black now make it a font with bold now let's see what happens now how it looks now let's see okay if you can see it's not coming okay we forgot to add the level here yes i uh, need to let's say 14 40 px uh, 40 percent so now save it and run it Okay, now see the level is coming but it is not properly aligned to the progress bar so we need to change the css to align it make it position relative make it top minus 16 px so that it will overlap with the progress bar you can see the output over here Okay, something is missing position relative and top 16 px okay okay we need to change the uh, uh, design to a something little bit let's make it over the top of the indicator So now let's see the output. Now it is looking good. Just we need to uh, manage the indicator to a little up. So just we need to make these changes over here. And this makes little to text align center. now check the output now if you can see that it is looking quite well and you can see if this is the 40 percent of the tax has been completed so the level will design to 14 percent 40 percent if you make the 5 to 60 with the width to 60 percent and make the level to 60 so if you can see that Let's rerun the application. 
okay you now i can see that now the tax has been completed up to 60% and the levy is also showing that the 60% of the progress has been completed so this is how we can design the static progress bar thanks friends